Hi, this is Lynn Langett for All Things Data, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about MongoDB. So to that end, uh, Tengen, uh, the company that has a lot of the committers and does a lot of support around the open source MongoDB database, has been really aggressive about releasing. I went to the Mongo conference in LA and found out about a new release that they had uh, planned, and here I see it. it happened last week. So MongoDB 2.4 has a whole bunch of new features and I wanted to try it out. And you can see these features include things like text search, geometry, um, hashed index, sharding with a uh, hashed shard key, all kinds of cool, you know, some security um, improvements around Kerberos and role-based access control, so on and so forth. So lots of cool changes. But if you're like me, you're you know just scrambling trying to stay on top of all these new no SQL and even relational database changes that are happening in the big data world. And I found this sort of fun way to try out new releases of Mongo that was, um, you know, the price was right and uh, it was really super easy. So I wanted to share it with you. It's called Mongo Lab. So if you go to Mongo Lab and you look on uh, products, you can see that basically you can have them set up and host MongoDB in the cloud. Um, at really, really low prices. Now, if you want to just try stuff out, they actually have a free tier, which was just perfect for what I wanted to do because already they were up and going on Mongo 2.4, so I didn't even have to download anything. I just went and I set it up. So I wanted to show you how it worked and uh, you know why um, it just was such a good solution for me investigating the new features of Mongo. So if I say uh, log in and I say submit, so I have one database set up here, which I could clone. It's the free tier, and it's running on Amazon's cloud. Um, one thing I just love about these guys is, um, well, it's super easy to use, free, and you can pick your cloud provider. Now, um, if I put in my database name, so I can you know, fill in, um, I don't know, Lynn, whatever the day is today. Uh, I'll just put ABC, day. Not sure you can put underscores. It'll tell me in a minute. And then I just pick my cloud provider, so Amazon, Joyent, Rackspace or Windows Azure. Now, when I tried Windows Azure, it actually wasn't successful. So if you're going to try Azure, good luck with it. I couldn't get it to work. The, the creation failed. So I used Amazon and I said uh, the free tier and then the experimental MongoDB version 2.4 and then you need to create a username and password. So once you do that, um, then you can go in and you can go to home and I've already done it. It took like a minute and here's my database and then you can set up your remote connection to it and if you want to drill into it there's some tools that you can work with so you can work with the collections you can there's an API viewer where you can work with and the interface is just really nice you can add a new collection so I'll call it collection uh, happy day and uh, there's advanced options here so I can put the size I can cap it I can say create and it's as easy as that here's my happy day collection I drill in and I can add a document just that easy. Very, very simple, slick, really, really like this a lot. I can add indexes, stats, tools, so on and so forth. Couldn't be easier to use, exposes the new features of Mongo, and um, just super, super easy. So this is my tip of the day. Try out Mongo Lab to try out what's new in Mongo 2.4. Um, this is Lynn Langett for All Things Data. Have a great day.